Hello there. This is Caroline and I just love everything there is to do with art. I've only just recently discovered fluid art and acrylic pouring on YouTube and I think it's just amazing. I would normally spend days and months on a on portraits and landscapes and I would use watercolours and sometimes oil but this technique is just so liberating and I am trying to learn how to do all the various techniques. There are so many not to mention all the recipes that you need to learn and the consistencies so I would like to document my progress on YouTube and I'm going to video all my attempts and all the different techniques that I'm going to try. I just love colour I'm just experimenting with different wacky colours like this uh, pour that I tried out on the video now I sort of was thinking blackberry and apple pie so I got blackberry and apple pie colours and thought you know let's try those for something different I love this open cup pour which I've recently tried. I love the way the cells all form as it comes out the, the bottom of the, the ring. And I haven't used any silicone. I've just used a flow trawl and water. So basically all my paint is just mixed with flow trawl and water to roughly the same consistency. Definitely I've realised and I've made mistakes where the consistencies aren't the same and they all start running on different speeds across the canvas which you can see why it's so important to have them the same. So I'd love you to come along with me on this journey of learning and discovering everything that there is to know about acrylic pouring. I have been having a bit of trouble getting some of the let's say ingredients for the different effects. I can't get the satin enamel at all, the uh, deco art. I actually got in touch with deco art in the US and said, you know, what, where on earth can I, can I get this from? So they told me they had shipped some over to the UK. I actually live in Northern Ireland, so <clears throat> Hopefully, if I can find a supplier in the UK, but as yet I haven't been able to find anyone. Amazon sort of tricked me for a while, and I even had paid for a, a jar of it, and they told me it was dispatched, and I was so excited. And then all of a sudden, they had refunded the amount into my account and said, "Sorry, no can do." So. I was gutted. But certainly these colours are a little bit different. I don't know that you would normally decide on taking something from your cookery book as inspiration, but I get inspiration for colours everywhere. Everywhere I look around me, and I mean, especially in nature, the colours that go together. Are just so wonderful. 
and perfect. I will be making lots of mistakes. I've, I've been doing this now for a couple of months and I find that using the smaller canvases, which the uh, 20 by 20 or 8 by 8 inch canvases are the most economical way for me to do it. I can get them reasonably cheaply and you don't need so much paint. And I find myself um, painting something over the top of one that didn't turn out quite right. It doesn't really give you enough room sometimes to stretch the paint. So I'll maybe uh, try something a bit bigger soon <laughs> and get a bit more confident. At the minute my family are all getting weird paintings for, for presents, whether they like them or not. I find it so um, relaxing and I can just lose myself in this and just be covered in paint from top to toe and the walls and the dog and everything but I'm going through kitchen roll at a huge rate. <laughs> if I could get a good kitchen roll supply that would be excellent. Um, I try to reuse all the little cups and little wooden spoons. It does wash off really well this paint as it is mixed with the water so it's it's not so messy but I hope you like my blackberry and apple pie pour and that you come and visit me again thank you so much bye for now